Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. This video is third of my video series I am making for Primera P6 Cloud. This video I am making to demonstrate how we can create or receive new layout in Primera P6 Cloud. So let's see what is the uh, layout. So layout is can, can be considered or is configured uh, is configured configured as a visual layout which allows the user to customize our screen and we can add more co uh, columns uh, headings and we can make fil uh, apply filters and grouping and sorting to show or to demonstrate our data effectively. Selecting the best view for our for the user's need can facilitate the user to process the and manage his data to to the end user or to other uh, other people other stockholders of the project effectively. So uh, to uh, to convey the message uh, to other stockholders or project uh, user, uh, we can use the different layouts which demonstrate the needs of different users. So we can create multiple layout in Primera P6. The layout can be classified in different types. It can be a personal layout or it can be project or workspace layout. So let's see what is a personal and workspace or project layouts. The personal layout is the one which is created by any specific user and it is used for that user and specifically it is belongs to that user only. Whereas the project or workspace layout or views are those which are created at project or workspace level itself. In addition to these three, the Primera Pieces Cloud provides a standard view which are available at budget and planning level and it's come with Pieces Cloud. Cloud. So let's see how we can use this cloud and how can we make our uh, views, uh, how can we use make our views uh, or layouts in Pieces Cloud itself. So let's start in P6 itself. So now we are in Pieces uh, Cloud uh, welcome, welcome screen and you can see here that we have on the the logo and uh, beside this select an item and we have one drop down arrow so once we select this drop down arrow we have three options project program and workspace workspace as i explained in my previous uh, videos that workspace can be considered as enterprise and it's the same as uh, enterprise in enterprise in pieces enterprise enterprises so we can uh, filter or we can uh, arrange our files in the uh, for a specific project in the same enterprise. Similarly, in PCS Cloud, we can use workspace. So once we select the workspace, you can see at the bottom that is ask you view all workspaces or you can select any workspace available here. So I am going to PCS Training. Once we go PCS Training, it will show you the program available in PCS Training. Okay, let's see workspace. And the workspace we have Primera P6 training. Okay, we open something else. So this P6 training in the P6 training available, you have two projects. So we can select the project directly here, or if if your workspace contains more projects, you can uh, select down view all projects to list down all the projects because we have only two projects, so it is showing only this project. We can select either from here or we can select view all projects. And from here, it, it will list down all your projects available in that same uh, work uh, uh, in the same uh, uh, same uh, work, work play, workspace. So we select this uh, new, new medical center. Once we select this new medical center, you can see that we have uh, we will get the in, uh, uh, window initial or uh, welcome window for this project which shows you the project name and start finish and some basic information so if you want to go to activities of this project we just go and schedule and select activities at the top you can see that new medical center and in camera training so this workspace name so this is the layout already i'm created it contains activity id name plan and duration and before going to this i will prefer if we go again in the uh, oracle main screen and in the uh, this uh, from the username dialog box you can hear one uh, drop down uh, uh, drop down arrow here from this drop down you can go and in the preferences you can find at the bottom uh, layout save views 
you can say save view manually or save view automatically so if you want to make if you make any changes or you want to save it automatically you can select this automatically or you can save manually so anything if you want to avoid uh, manual or you want to edit anything you are making any changes you want to save it so you can select menu uh, automatic option or you can if you if you're just making something for only experiment purpose and do, you don't want to save it then select to better to save uh, I select the option of save view, save views manually. So it's up to your uh, specific requirements. Uh, we have no choice. Uh, I have no option for this. Uh, no, I have no comment for this one. This will be depend anyone's personal interest, uh, pers personal preferences. So we go here and we can select item here workspace. In the workspace, I select the P6 training. And the P6 training again, we select our program project and from schedule i select the activities so once activities are selected you can add some column here for example i want to show the labor plan labor units okay you can see here plan labor units came and it is hide it so to unhide it i just uncheck this one here now you can see that the plan labor units are shown here so once if you go here and you refresh your data and you reload uh, changes you made may not be safe and okay and you reload it you can see the column we just added it's gone so similarly uh, if you want these changes to be added automatically we have to select the option automatic option there or otherwise you have to select manual option so we select manual option that's why the column we added here for the pc level units is not shown here so if you want to show, uh, if you want to add one more layout, for example here, and we go here in the view dialog box, view original baseline, this is our, uh, our layout names. So we just uh, click this drop down, and here you can see that we, uh, we have only one layout, which is original baseline view. So from uh, top, you can select manage view. And the manage view, you can see here that uh, this uh, managing view dialog box will came out. And here you can add one more under the personal okay and then you can give the name you can say p6 training layout okay and for example here we want to add units of plan labor units you can see here Plan labor units. We just select here. Okay, and we say plan labor costs. This we to add it here. Once we added this here, we can save it. Okay, and or after save, we can go and apply. Okay, now we the you can see here our view is now P6 training layout, and this training layout shows our plan labor units and plan labor cost cost not yet assigned so it shows you zero so if you want to go back again to original baseline you just go in the view and the view you can just open directly and open original baseline view okay just select this one you would like to ignore changes to your view i say yes okay now we came back to our pieces original baseline view view Okay, and if you want to go again, this our uh, layout, just we make it P6 training. So we select here from P6 training layout here. It will show you here. And for example, if you add some more columns here, we just add plus sign here and we say actual duration. For example, you just unhide this one. You can see the actual duration is shown here. And if we refresh this one for the top, it will change you made can be cannot be saved. Okay, just reload it. And you come back to our PC training layout. So I hope this video tutorial is some helpful for you and it will uh, give you some more insights of the PC cloud. And uh, if you like if you like it, please consider subscribing. Uh, I'm trying to make more uh, useful and
helping with you on PCS Cloud in coming days. And till that time, thank you again for your time and consideration. Please consider subscription. See you again in the next video. Take care and bye bye.